Hello, this is Cinema 4D Quick Tips and today we will show how to transfer the animation from one object to another using the retarget tag. First, create a cube. Then animate the cube. For this, set the time slider in the animation toolbar to frame 0 and click on the record active objects logo to create the first keyframe. Then move the time slider to about the middle of the timeline Drag the cube along the x-axis in the viewport and click on the record active objects to create the second keyframe. Further, move the time slider to frame 90, drag the cube along the y-axis and rotate it around the z-axis. And press the record active objects to create the third keyframe. Click on the play forwards button in the animation toolbar to test the animation of the cube. It's OK. Stop the animation. Next, create a cylinder and increase its height so that it is partially visible. Then, right click on the cube object in the object manager, select rig and text, click retarget, select the retarget expression tag in the object manager, go to the tag tab, drag and drop the cube object into the source field and drag and drop the cylinder object into the target field. If you click on the play forwards button in the animation toolbar, you will see that the animation of the cylinder follows the animation of the cube. Let's switch the cube object off in the object manager to watch the animation of the cylinder separately. Now switch the cube object on. If you change the animation of the cube, the animation of the cylinder will also change. If you delete the cube, the animation of the cylinder will be removed. This is because the animation of the cylinder is completely dependent on the animation of the cube. This may be what you need. However, if you want the animation of the cylinder to be independent from the animation of the cube, you can copy keyframes from the cube to the cylinder. The link to the corresponding tutorial you can find in the description of the video. But in this example, we will make the cylinder animation independent in another way, by baking. For this, open the Timeline Dope Sheet by clicking on the Timeline Dope Sheet logo. Click on the Cylinder object in the Object Manager. Open the Functions menu in the Timeline Dope Sheet window and click Bake Objects. A pop-up window has appeared. Here you can specify the start and end frame of the animation. If you check the Create Copy box, a copy of the cylinder will be created and the bacon will be applied to the copy, leaving the original cylinder unchanged. If you uncheck the Create Copy box, bacon will be applied to the original cylinder and it will be overwritten. Make sure that all the parameters that will be used for bacon are selected here. Finally, press the OK button. The animation has turned into keyframes. Now, if you change the animation of the cube, the animation of the cylinder will not change. If you delete the cube, the animation of the cylinder will remain. Thank you for your attention, subscribe to the channel and put your finger up.